Hello everyone. Just wanted to welcome and thank you again for joining our webinar this morning, um, afternoon, evening, depending on where you are. My name is Stacy. I'm a part of the webinar team here at Mobile Iron. Um, and I want to welcome you to today's session. We have a very special session on taking mobile and banking to a new level with NIBC, where we will be deep diving into NIBC's uh, mobile deployment and their digital workspace. So additionally, we also have our App Connect partners, Harmony, here as well. Um, before we get started, just wanted to cover a couple items here. So the session will be recorded and we will be making this available after the presentation is over. And secondly, we really want to highly encourage everyone to ask questions as we're going along because we want this to just be as informative and helpful of a session for you as possible. Um, and with that, I wanted to just go ahead and introduce our speakers for today. We have Viva Gostra, um, Innovation Manager of the Digital Workspace at NIBC, as well as Didier Janssen, um, Mobile Iron Ch Channel Manager, and then David Lavenda, um, VP of Product Strategy at Harmony, one of our Mobile Iron's App Connect partners. Um, for those of you who are unfamiliar with our App Connect program, um, the Mobile Iron App Connect program helps to secure and manage enterprise apps on iOS and Android mobile devices um, while preserving that user experience. And so Mobile Iron works with the best of breed app developers to create the eco ecosystem of App Connect enabled apps that can be secured within the Mobile Iron mobile IT platform, and um, Harmony is one of them. So David, would you like to uh, give a quick introduction to Harmony and tell us about uh, what you guys do? Yeah, okay, thanks a lot, Stacy. <clears throat> Harmony uh, is, uh, actually brings all your Microsoft-based collaboration tools into the single screen so that typical business users can focus on the job at hand of collaborating, working with partners, rather than having to toggle between all the tools like Office 365, SharePoint, Yammer, uh, OneDrive for Business, and Link. And having all the tools in, a, in one screen with an Outlook on the desktop or as an app on any of the mobile devices makes it easy for employees to really take advantage of these, those big investments your company's made in, in Microsoft. So to typical business users who've been trying to ignore SharePoint because it's too difficult to use, really now have a simple way of uh, being able to be part of that collaboration uh, part, uh, piece. And organizations who have invested in Microsoft for things like records management, project management, mobile first initiatives, social initiatives, and things like that can now really realize the value. So. Uh, in short, Harmony runs everywhere workers spend their work time, an email on the desktop, as an app on mobile devices and smartphones, as you see here, and as well as a plug-in to um, Outlook web app. Uh, and the you know, same information is displayed across all these different devices, and that's one of the main values that Harmony brings to the enterprise. So with that, I'm going to turn this over to uh, Didier and uh, the rest of oh, uh, one other thing. Um, you can push the slide, please, Stacy. Okay, so just a bit about the agenda before I turn this over. Um, uh, so we had a brief introduction. Uh, we'll, we'll hear a bit about NIBC, uh, the bank, and uh, what uh, they were trying to achieve with the business strategy, uh, some of the considerations and what they were looking for uh, in, to achieve from a business perspective and how those translated into some of the technical uh, considerations uh, for selecting the, the right partners and products to help uh, fulfill those needs and um, to realize the business strategy. Uh, once the selection uh, was, was made and Har uh, Mobile Iron and Harmony were selected as uh, key pieces of that, um, we'll look at some of the user adoption uh, considerations and how that rolled out, what some of the key benefits have been realized, and uh, finally uh, wrap up with some of the lessons learned throughout the journey. And, uh, and we'll wrap up after that with some uh, Q&A. So with that, I'd like to turn this over to Didier and uh, to hear the, uh, the NIBC story. Um, live from uh, The Hague in the Netherlands, I'm um, here today with uh, Wiebe Koolstra. Um, at first, let me start to thank Wiebe for working on this webinar with us. And I'd also like to thank our local mobile iron partner, Davo, that supported NIBC with this uh, deployment. So, Wiebe, um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your role at NIBC? Yeah, okay. Uh, well, my name is Wiebe. Uh, I'm uh, in IT for the last 16 years, uh, and I'm currently working as a Manager Innovation Digital Workspace. Uh, I explore opportunities for applying the latest technology so that we can work smarter and more efficient, uh, me and my colleagues. Uh, I work at NIBC, which is a rather small Dutch bank, with uh, about 600 employees. 
uh, give or take a few. Uh, and IBC has offices in The Hague, Brussels, Frankfurt, and London. And we mainly focus on the northwestern Europe, especially on uh, uh, Germany, the Netherlands, uh, the UK, and Belgium. Okay, great. Um, can you provide some background on NIBC's business strategy and how does mobility play a role in that? Well, we want to be the bank for the decisive financial moment, uh, so we must be agile and always available. Uh, we have to do more with less. Uh, we have the same rules as the bigger banks, but less people and less funding, so uh, we have to be a bit smarter. Uh, and we have to provide the top team uh, for the task to serve our clients. Uh, so that means we have to be available anytime, any place, anywhere. Uh, so that calls for a mobile uh, workplace. Uh, so we are working on a modern, secure, and flexible uh, digital workspace, as we call it. And to accomplish this, we focus mainly on user experience, mobile, uh, and the digitizing of digitalizing. I don't know exactly the English word, but uh, digitizing our information and processes. Okay. Um, prior to Mobile, uh, what did your mobile environment look like? Uh, well, as most big enterprise companies, we started out with uh, BlackBerry, uh, and actually we used that uh, until uh, last year. Uh, but when the iPad was launched, we wanted also to have our information, especially uh, agenda, uh, email, uh, but also attachments on, on a bigger screen. So when the iPad came out, we started also uh, using iPads, uh, and that's when we looked for uh, other solutions. Uh, we first tried to solve uh, the challenge with our uh, existing functionality like Outlook Web Access and uh, Citrix, uh, but that wasn't really a user-friendly uh, solution, uh, so that's when we well, decided to, we had to do something different. Yeah, that's great information for us. Good to hear. <laughs> Um, what were the major requirements you had for the new mobility solution? Well, as I said, we focus on usability, cost efficiency, uh, fast time to market. Uh, but we also had to have uh, a secure solution. Uh, we had to be compliant with our own policies, but also uh, of the regulators. Uh, we looked at uh, implementation. Uh, it, used, it should be uh, easy to implement and have a short time to market because we were already, uh, well, not really failures, but we tried first the other solution, so people got a bit impatient, uh, so we had to get on the markets very fast, yeah. and that's why uh, well, we actually chose for Mobile Iron, uh, because it has a very short time for us at that time to implement, and also our partners, which we already were using for our BlackBerry, uh, environment could help us uh, providing uh, this solution. Yeah. Okay. How uh, ultimately was Armony and Mobile selected while you were uh, were uh, evaluating the vendors? Yeah. Well, Mobile Iron was selected way back in 2010, 2011. Uh, at that time, there were not that many uh, solutions, many vendors uh, for uh, MDM. Uh, and we actually only considered two, uh, which was Mobile Iron and one other one. And we chose for Mobile Iron because we, it had a native user experience. It, it used the native apps, uh, and that was a very uh, strong, uh, how do you call it, uh, um, incentive for us to use it um, because the container apps at that time uh, weren't up to par yet, uh, and people were not really uh, into those kind of solutions, so we wanted to have a, uh, make use of the, of the apps which were on there, uh, which were designed to do what they did. Yeah. Uh, we also had our partner Davo to support us, uh, and that was also a very strong plus uh, for us, uh, because we implemented it as a managed service. Uh, Harmony was, was a bit later, we, we focused on, uh, uh, we selected Harmony this early this year, uh, because we were upgrading our SharePoint environment. We used to use SharePoint 2007, and we upgraded it to 2013. Uh, but SharePoint is not one of the most, most uh, user-friendly uh, platforms. It depends on how you use it, but uh, for us it was very important uh, to, uh, to even make the user solution better for, for our end users. 
uh, and we wanted to support it on on our mobile devices. So that we that's why we chose Harmony uh, because they share our vision to create a unified, user-friendly uh, digital workplace. And next to that, it was a, a big plus that uh, they were partnering with Mobile Iron, yeah. uh, so we didn't have to solve many security uh, stuff before we could use it, but we can use it right out of the box uh, with our, uh, how do you call it, App Connect uh, platform. Yeah. And it's, uh, this saved us a lot of time because getting secure access normally uh, is, is quite a hassle with using firewalls and, and VPNs and all this stuff. Uh, so when it comes right of the, out of the box, it's, it's pretty handy. Um, and also the fact that they have a very agile and responsive partner in the uh, silver side in the Netherlands helped a lot uh, because they really helped us uh, getting this done in, in a, also in a timely, uh, okay manner. Yeah. Okay. And how did users respond to the implementation of Harmony and the Mobile Iron? Uh, were employees trained, educated on a new platform? Well, Mobile Iron is a fact of life. People are unaware of it most of the time. Uh, they are not complaining, and I think that's a big compliment nowadays yeah. because Important. people like to complain. And not only our people, but but it's it's general a trend that things should work, and if it doesn't work, then people get a bit annoyed. Uh, but we never get annoyance on. Uh, mobile iron itself. The only thing we get some complaints about is that we have chosen for device management and, and put a password on the complete device. Yeah. Uh, nowadays people would like to have uh, containers uh, most of the time, so we are now uh, trying to give them both and, and make them choice of uh, let them choose themselves. Yeah. Uh, uh, but Harmony, the story is a bit different because it, it, it's very, it's, it's more a user uh, a tool. Uh, so we have a very intensive uh, adoption program for our SharePoint upgrade, and Harmony is part of the training there. Uh, we have an experience center. We do some training every uh, go live. We do floor walkers when we uh, implement uh, departments. Uh, so that's a complete program. Um, the mobile app is tested in a pilot group uh, and will be go live this month. Uh, and also, uh, we train people and have best practices in our competence center website. So uh, people can go to our intranet and, and well, link to, to videos and, and have our own uh, documentation and best practices. Wow. Uh, so that's, well, people like that. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. Okay. What are the major benefits you have experienced since deploying Harmony and Mobile Iron? Well, for starters, Mobile Iron made it possible to use our iPads and email and calendar. Uh, so, so we had a mobile solution uh, quite early in, 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 the, in the iPad life cycle. Uh, and then in that time, it was a very big plus to be able to see your PowerPoints and, and Excels on a, on a bigger screen than the BlackBerry we were using yeah. as a phone. Uh, so that was a big plus. Uh, and also, when we phased out these Blackberries last year, it, it gave us a, a very uh, solid platform to roll out our new uh, devices, and we chose for iPhones uh, uh, early this year. Mm -hmm. uh, and nowadays, we are implementing apps at work and, and the tunnel functionality to give people even more functionality on their iPad, yep. uh, like digital meetings and, and, and access to their SharePoint platform. Uh, access to our intranet news uh, stuff. So that's that's really nice. Uh, and Harmony enhances the SharePoint user environment uh, when saving email from Outlook for, to SharePoint, for example. And this also helps NRC to stay compliant with regulations because we uh, actually we have a data compliance project going on there and we give metadata to our documents about uh, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Okay. Uh, so that helps us over there. And by using SharePoint together with Harmony, uh, we found an easy way to classify these documents using metadata so that they could be identified and handled with appropriate care. And Harmony Mobile enables that also on the, for our mobile workforce. People on the road can uh, access their documents, but do that in a compliant way uh, so that's uh, a win-win situation, actually. Yeah. Okay. Great. Uh, what is on NIBC's roadmap for mobility? Well, our strategy is to enable 
collaboration on any time, any place uh, with any stakeholder and on any relevant device. Uh, so we think of mobile as an important part of this digital workspace strategy. It's, it's not a separate strategy anymore. It's just the digital workplace strategy and mobile is, is just one uh, part of it. Uh, and we are working uh, for this time persona based. Uh, so we have uh, identified uh, four kind of employees uh, and we are now working on the executive and the mobile workforce. Okay. Uh, but I think that's a matter of time. In the end, everybody will want to work mobile in not 100% of the time, but we hope so. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, not not complete of the time, but but it's a 40 24/7 world. So so people are not restricted to their office anymore, and they want to be agile uh, and do some work scenarios on their mobile. Uh, for example, HR tasks or writing time on this kind of stuff. So yeah. it's just part of our completely dest uh, strategy, actually. Okay. Yeah. Um, we already had the last question. Oh, um, we're going fast. <laughs> oh, we're going really fast. Maybe we can uh, got some more questions from the audience later. Um, what are some of the major lessons learned? Uh, if there's one thing you want the audience to walk away from this webinar with, what would it be? Well, what I just said, mobile is not a separate strategy. It's just part of your digital workplace. So in everything you do, uh, you have to take mobile in consideration. Uh, it's not, it's just there and people want it, so, so you have to uh, help them with it. Uh, the second thing, and that's, it's not, or at least should not be about devices, it's about data and information. So for now we are talking about mobile device management or uh, on, uh, over iPads or tablets or uh, Android, uh, but actually you, you want to be, you want that your data is safe. Uh, and all these ecosystems who draw you into uh, special devices, I don't think that's the future. Uh, so for now it's okay, but for the future you have to be device independent. And yeah. I think that's a big lesson for us. And next to that we have adoption, user adoption is key. Uh, that you, uh, you have to supply solutions which are very easy, but even then uh, you have to take your, uh, your, your employees on that journey. And that's not a project, that's an event, or uh, it's not an, a project or an event, it's, it's a process. It's a continuous uh, process to help people uh, do their work more efficient. Yeah. Uh, technical changes have large impact. If you, if you change people their workspace, uh, it's, it's pretty uh, intrusive for them most of the time. So uh, there has to be a kind of an incentive that works, makes work better for them. And, and not worse. And implementing strategy is not a project. Uh, projects come and go, but your strategy is here to stay. Uh, so you have to be working on that continuously. Growing. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 a it's an ever ongoing story. Yeah. Uh, so so you can use projects, of course, but not for a strategy. Uh, in my opinion. Okay. And great to hear that you have chosen from old iron. Uh, uh, do the uh, native user experience and the multi-OS support and the integration that we have with our ecosystem. I think yeah. this example, Harmony. Yeah, we are planning to do a bring your own tablet uh, strategy this uh, next year, actually. So we are also going to support Android tablets uh, and maybe even Windows tablets. It's a bit more cumbersome uh, in mobile iron, but we will manage. And also, uh, after that, probably we will go to a kind of bring your own phone uh, strategy because we really like people to have their own platforms which they like. And, and, and well, if they like it, they will use it. Yeah. Uh, so that's our vision on that. Uh, it's also more iron vision. So. Yeah, well, it's, <laughs> it sounds simple, but it's not easy. <laughs> uh, so we are working on that all the time. Actually, last year we already wanted to implement uh, bring your own uh, device uh, scenarios then, uh, but for tax reason and also some technical reasons, it yeah. was pretty difficult. Uh, so you have to be aware of that and, and, and assess your possibilities all the time. And uh, uh, well. It's it's quite a challenge, but it's it's nice to do it, and uh, our employees are very happy uh, with these possibilities. Yeah, great story. Um, Stacy, can you see if there are any questions for Weaver, maybe? 
Yes, perfect. Um, yeah, we've got actually quite a few questions that came in. So uh, the first of which is, uh, Veep, did NIBC have to sell its management on the digital workspace strategy, or was that um, kind of a top-down initiative that the company had already supported? Well, actually, when we started with the iPads, uh, it was the, the, the CFO, yeah, I think the CFO or the, uh, the commercial uh, uh, chief uh, who came up with this iPad and asked us to, to get his email on it. So it started uh, on the top, uh, but you see that it's, it's a kind of a two-way uh, initiative now that people uh, – uh, on the on the work floor like it, uh, but also our management is very eager uh, to go mobile, especially our new CEO. He's, he's uh, pretty enthusiastic about uh, mobile, and uh, that's that's a big help. Awesome. And then the does that answer the current, question? Uh -huh. Yeah, that does. Perfect. Um, and what does okay. your current mobile environment look like? Are you deploying um, corporate-owned devices? Is it? Uh, I know you kind of mentioned that you're looking into bring your own devices uh, next year, but how many devices are deployed now, and kind of what's the makeup of uh, operating systems that exist in your environment? Yeah, well, we are at the, at the moment we are iOS only, uh, so we support. Uh, well, we actually give or yeah, give our employees. Uh, iPhones, uh, which is in a kind of cope uh, way, corporately, corporately owned, personally enabled. So we allow people to use it for their personal uh, stuff as well. Uh, but it's a company owned device and we pay for it. We also have the, the contract uh, with Vodafone for it. Uh, uh, iPads, it's only we to uh, senior management who are uh, supplied with iPads uh, by NBC itself. And the rest is on on a bring your own basis, uh, and it's. I, I think it's uh, interesting to see that. Uh, I think we have 50 corporately owned uh, iPads, but there are about uh, 50 to 75 uh, bring your own iPads uh, now. So people are really seeing the benefits of bringing their own uh, device to work and, and do their work on it. They even put up with our nasty password policies and stuff <laughs> uh, and, and, and still uh, see the benefits of, of using an iPad for uh, for their digital meetings and, and, and email and calendar stuff. And so, so that's really uh, quite okay. And, but that's for now it's only iOS. And in January, we are starting supporting Android for tablets. Uh, and we are uh, starting with uh, supporting Windows Phone and Android Phone. Perfect. Awesome. Thanks, Veep. Um, another question came in. How have you seen your users' demands grow since you first launched your mobile strategy and um, where you are now? How much? Or Sorry, what, what was the question? Yeah, just generally speaking, how have you seen kind of your users' demands grow? I, I'm sure uh, early on they must have just um, just wanted uh, access to email or something. And have you seen that their demands have grown a lot since you first launched your mobile strategy? Yeah, well, it started kind of slow -ish. Uh, people already had their BlackBerry with their email and, and calendar. So for lots of people that was – Enough. <laughs> uh, but the last year, you really see uh, a big rise in, in demands on, on, on mobile devices, especially on uh, accessing documents, uh, annotating PDFs, uh, having their personal uh, notes on, on, on uh, mobile devices, uh, because people are uh, working more and more mobile and working from home and uh, working on, uh, on, on every spot in the earth, uh, actually. Uh, and also, uh, we are now working on a kind of a new, well, workspace in, in NIBC. It would be more flexible, uh, not really the, the old desktop uh, anymore, but, but more flexible activity-based uh, workplaces. Uh, and then you see that people are really uh, eager to use uh, multiple devices for their work. Uh, uh, their workload, uh, depending on what they're doing, they are using a different device. So they might be working on a desktop, but uh, doing a really complicated Word document or Excel sheet. Uh, but an hour later, they will be in a meeting working on their iPad and, and keeping notes and stuff. So these scenarios 
uh, are, are growing very fast now. Perfect, great. Um, another question that came in was, uh, did NIBC, or sorry, is um, NIBC developing any custom mobile applications to automate any specific banking related or employee processes? Uh, preferably not. Uh, we try to uh, to use out of the box functionality as much as possible. Uh, but I, well, in the future we might, uh, if if it's needed, uh, do something ourselves, build something uh, nice for our account managers, for example. Uh, but where we can, we will be using standard functionality and and just apps uh, from the App Store. Okay. Awesome. And then do you have a mobility team or who, run, who runs the mobile IT infrastructure? Uh, well, we, we have a kind of a virtual collaboration team uh, where, where mobile is part of. Uh, and we have a unified communications manager who is responsible for uh, all communication in running the bank, for, as we call it. Uh, and we have our managing partner, Davo, who is really technical uh, maintaining our environment and, and implementing new mobile iron versions, new functionality together with me. Uh, we are looking what we are going to use and what we are not going to use. Uh, so it's really a team effort, but it's not really a physical team. It's it's uh, not a, a kind of, uh, well, in every uh, discipline, we have some people who are uh, very agile working with me uh, to get these small changes, as we call them, uh, alive. So it's a kind of, uh, I think Gartner calls this bi-model IT. <laughs> so we, you have your, your standard uh, big uh, enterprise solutions, and next, but they have a completely different pace than these kind of, of mobile uh, solutions. Uh, and th that's how we work here, or try to work. We're just starting with that, but it, it seems to work. <laughs> that's great. Awesome. Sorry, just a couple more questions here. We we have a couple come in just here. Um, are there any banking industry issues or regulations that your mobile strategy help you to better support? Sorry, I I don't think I get. Is, is it is it enabling compliancy or or just yeah, the I other way around? That. Uh, yeah, I think so, kind of addressing some of the compliance issues in terms of the banking industry in the Netherlands. Um, I know you touched on compliance earlier. Is there a specific um, industry-related regulations that um, your mobile strategy is helping you to support? Uh, well, <laughs> actually, it, most of the time it's the other way around, and, and compliance is making mobile more difficult. Uh, but if you look at how we access our documents now with uh, using mobile, uh, Harmony uh, to our on-premise SharePoint environment, uh, it enables us to, uh, to uh, how do you call it, classify our uh, unstructured data. And there you could say that, uh, well, it's a win-win situation. It enables us to keep compliant, and we can access it uh, mobile. So that's, uh, I think, a good combination of how mobile can help you stay compliant or the other way around. Uh, but most of the time, it's it's uh, you have to be aware of what you're doing with your mobile solutions and uh, stay compliant. For example, if we like to, we we are uh, having a strategy. We want to go to the cloud for collaboration someday, uh, but until now, it, it well, we 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 were hesitating in in doing so, uh, uh, and that's that's a choice we really made, uh, and that's why uh, Mobile Iron helped us to get on prem and still have our uh, mobile solutions uh, in place. Uh, the other way around, if you use, for example, Office 365, uh, you still need mo uh, mobile device management, but that's that's another story. Uh, I don't know for sure if this answers the question, but uh, if there's a follow-up, uh, please ask. <laughs> no, I think that's great. Thanks, Vee. Um And it looks like, so actually it looks like a, our other question here, it might be for David um, regarding Harmony. Um, David, are you available to answer this question? Sure. Perfect. So we had um, a member of the audience ask, how are you dealing with regulations um, on archiving uh, social communication with Harmony, and, um, for example, chats? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so for, um, maybe just sorry, go ahead. yeah. So maybe just make it clear the 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 functionality that that Harmony brings to the uh, to the table is really the user experience uh, component to using the Microsoft tools. So there's there is no uh, a repository that Harmony introduces on top of the Microsoft tools that people are using. So if there is social chat or discussions through Yammer and Link, those remain in the native application so that uh, whatever is provided there is what is maintained and that is what is available for those uh, requirements and compliance issues. Does that, okay, I hope perfect. that answers the question. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything from the audience, so hopefully that um, addresses their question here. Um, and I think that actually about wraps it up for questions today. So really want to thank uh, Veeb and Didier and David for being on the call with us today. Um, and then David, maybe you'd like to describe how anyone can contact Harmony if they'd like to get more information. Yep, so it's very easy. There's a couple of quick calls to action here. Uh, if you have a way to clip the uh, the QR code uh, quickly or not, you'll be able to uh, get the uh, the webinar materials later. Uh, we have uh, a, um, um, a version of uh, the mobile product that runs on all the things you see here so that uh, you can literally uh, go to the website, this QR code will take you to the website and uh, be able to download uh, a, um, a version, uh, a free version that uh, gives you uh, read capabilities to uh, to SharePoint, that lets you run through the paces. There's also an evaluation that's available on the Harmony site. So there's lots of different ways to interact with us. Uh, also happy to, um, there's a form you can fill out to reach out to us directly and somebody will follow up with you. Uh, I also invite you to download, we have a guide to mobile collaboration uh, which talks about some of the things you should be thinking about uh, if you're looking at uh, taking advantage of the uh, Microsoft tools for collaborating on mobile devices or on mobile devices and on the desktop. Uh, and that uh, has some good information about just things you should be thinking about, not really product specific, but just some good uh, guidelines and some tips uh, to get you started. Perfect, thanks David. Um, and if you'd like to contact Mobile Iron as well, please feel free to visit us online at mobileiron.com. And we also have a case study with um, NIBC coming soon to our website, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Um, you can also reach us at info at mobileiron.com or reach us on the uh, telephone number there if you're old-fashioned and still like to pick up the phone. Um, please feel free to also follow us on our social networks. We're constantly updating new information um, in regards to Mobile Iron and the industry uh, trends that we see. Um, on our network, so please feel free to follow us there. Um, and with that, I want to thank everyone for your um, attention and uh, participation today. And also want to thank uh, David, uh, Didier, and Veeb again for being on the call and um, just giving us a, a deeper look at NIBC's mobile iron deployment or mobile iron and uh, Harmony deployment. Thanks, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Bye bye now. Bye. Thank you. Bye.